This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this video, we'll be, we will be showing you how to use the zoom effect in Kading Live. In Kading Live, while editing from time to time, you may decide you wish you, you could zoom in on something. Maybe you just want to promote your website or use it for other advertising techniques. We will show you how to do this in KDN Live without add a, uh, additional plugins. While using this technique in KDN Live on a moving object, there could be some distortion that needs to be corrected, as you may notice with its first zoom on the Solil. But like I said, maybe you would like to promote your website using using KDN Live Zoom as I did here with Grebhax. Or maybe using KDN Live you would like to use to just promote an article as I have done with device hacking. This Zoom feature in KDN Live can be used for many reasons. So let's get on with it. Once you have imported the video into KDN Live you wish to work with, grab your razor tool and cut the section you wish to zoom in on. And then delete the section not being used or move it aside. In KDN Live, highlight the clip and click on Effects. Go to Crop and Transform and drag the Pan and Zoom effect into the clip. While looking at the project monitor, try to understand it is a type of grid in KDN Live. And the size of the KDN Live browser is a grid as well. We need to expand that grid territory. In order to do this, we must shrink the KDN Live browser and move the KDN Live to the left. In order to zoom in KDN Live, you must adjust the size. But notice the crosshairs. This crosshair allows you to move the video into proper placement. To show cause and effect, I will use a size of 800%. Notice once the size is placed into the Kadian Live, the crosshair disappears dramatically to the right. That is where in KDN Live the X and the Y parameters come into play. Once you discover the numbers, it is easy sailing, so write them down. So in KDN Live, using size 800%, I discovered that putting in a negative number of 6500 to the X and negative number of 35 to the Y brings the crosshair into grasp. This also allows for proper placement of your KDN Live zoom effect. This may differ slightly between machines, but just play with the numbers. In KDN Live, if you let go of the crosshair before you get proper alignment, you will have to start over. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. And by all means, visit us at our website at httpgrepax.com. The intro and extra was provided by Alex of AU1 from his YouTube channel. Thanks in advance. Have a nice day. I am out.